The Queen arrives at Kensington Palace by helicopter to meet Prince Louis, for the first time as she brings a hand-picked bouquet of flowers, as a gift for the Duchess of Cambridge. In 2012, the Queen was seen leaping from a helicopter, in a mocked-up stunt for the opening ceremony of the London Olympics. But yesterday, with no James Bond to keep her company, she was treated to a more orthodox touchdown, on what, for her, would have been an equally special occasion. The Queen had flown from Windsor to Kensington Palace, to see her sixth great-grandchild, Prince Louis, for the first time. Looking happy and relaxed, the 92-year-old monarch clutched a posy of spring flowers tied with a silver ribbon, presumably a hand-picked gift for her granddaughter-in-law, the Duchess of Cambridge, as she emerged from her burgundy-liveried official helicopter in Perksfield, after a 40-minute flight. The Queen, dressed in headscuff, tweed skirt, pink cashmere jumper and sensible lace-up shoes, and carrying her lawn a handbag, laughed, and joked with police protection officers. Walking unaided, she glanced towards the growing crowd and smiled before she was driven, a blanket on her knees, in her official range rover the short distance to William and Kate's apartment. Although she was there to meet Louis, her visit would no doubt have gone down well with her other great-grandchildren, Prince George and Princess Charlotte, who both adore her. George memorably named her Gan Gan, no doubt Gan Gan also had a present for Princess Charlotte, who celebrates her third birthday today. The Queen had been staying at Windsor Castle with Prince Philip, who is recuperating from a hip replacement, when Prince Louis of Cambridge was born on Monday last week. She was one of the first people William, telephoned with the news that his third child had been delivered safely, but until yesterday afternoon he and Kate had not had the chance to introduce him to her. It was decided that they would wait until the Queen returned to London, for the start of her working week. There has been no word yet as to whether Prince Charles has been to see Louis, his third grandchild. Earlier, the Cambridges had formally registered Louis birth, with proud Father William signing the certificate, witnessed by Westminster City Council Registrar Patricia Gordon. The document gives the baby's full name, His Royal Highness Prince Louis Arthur Charles of Cambridge and lists his parents' occupations as Prince and Princess of the UK. The Prince, who is taking time off following the birth, simply signed the document William.